This is Talk Business and Politics with Roby Brock. I'm Roby Brock. Welcome to today's Talk Business and Politics Daily. Here are your top stories of the day. Walmart has acquired specialty outdoor retailer Moose Jaw for an estimated $51 million cash deal. The retail giant confirmed the news Wednesday in a blog on its website just one month after Walmart's sister company, Jet.com, acquired online footwear business Shoebuy. Moose Jaw has a large online presence and a small brick-and-mortar presence of 10 stores located throughout the Midwest and its home state of Michigan. Walmart said Moose Jaw will continue to operate as a standalone business and subsidiary of the retail giant. A shell bill has been filed with very little language, but it has already stirred a lot of controversy. Senate Bill 346 by Senators Greg Standridge and Gary Stubblefield indicates the purpose of the act concerns gender identity and bathroom privileges. Presumably, the measure could mirror a North Carolina law that spurred a lot of controversy. Already, tourism officials around the state have indicated their opposition to the measure and its potential language. Read more at talkbusiness.net. Finally, a bill to require colleges to allow staff members to carry concealed guns on campus passed the Senate committee on Wednesday. The bill now goes to the full Senate where it's likely to pass and head to the governor's desk for signature or veto. The measure was opposed by nearly every college and university in the state. And you can keep up with stories like those and many more at our website at talkbusiness.net. After the break, we play a little good Trump, bad Trump with Senator Missy Irvin and Representative Greg Letting. And we'll preview an upcoming survey that you'll be interested in. Stick around. Arkansas Electric Cooperative Corporation provides electric energy across two-thirds of Arkansas. This is an exciting time in our energy history, with incredible progress being made in renewable energy and storage technologies. As our energy portfolio continues to diversify, We'll maintain an all-the-above strategy to provide reliable and affordable electricity. Ever since the first light bulbs were placed in our members' homes, the electric cooperatives have been the solutions provider for our members, and we want to continue that well into the future. Each day, the promise of our nation begins again. Arkansas and America moving forward. I help make that promise a reality. It's not for everyone but people everywhere depend on us. Trucking delivers or everything stops. And that's what drives me. On Sunday's Talk Business and Politics, Representative Greg Letting and Senator Missy Irvin join me to talk about session politics. We also recorded a web extra that allowed Letting, a Democrat, and Irvin, a Republican, to talk good Trump, bad Trump. They both picked a good Trump topic. And we are going to play a round of good Trump, bad Trump. There's so much volume of what you have to (laughs) keep up with out of Washington, D.C. and the Trump administration that it's just easier to pick a needle out of a haystack and start talking about it though. So Senator, I'm gonna come to you first. Do you wanna go good Trump or bad Trump? Which way are you gonna go? Oh gosh, I don't know. Good Trump, let's say good Trump. Give me a good Uh, Trump story this week. Something Donald Trump did that was good. Oh, I thought it was awesome that he and Ivanka, his daughter, kind of snuck off and attended the ceremony where they brought the remains back of the Navy SEAL. I thought that was awesome. That was a good. It was a really good, good moment. Good touch for the. Yeah, it was the first fallen soldier under his watch, and uh, for him to go there and be with a family that was just really classy. Pretty awesome. Yeah. All right. You're gonna do good Trump or bad Trump? I'll, I'll throw a curveball. I'll do good Trump. You're gonna go good uh, Trump. Uh, yeah, right. You know, during the the RNC back in the summer, Ivanka talked about the importance of paid leave for yeah. families, and uh, I think that's something that the administration has been talking about. And just the last week, I think they've been talking about perhaps expanding the policy to fathers. Uh, I think that's a really good and important thing. All right. And I will note that we just passed maternity leave, paid maternity leave, That's my right. bill in the Senate today off uh, the Senate floor. So is it already through the House or is it going to go to the House? It will go to the House. Who's going to carry it in the House? Deanne Vaught and mm-hmm. we have some other folks. Clark Tucker's working on it over there mm-hmm. with us too. Yeah. Is it going to pass in the House? I certainly hope so. Well, you <laughs> hope so, but what is the vote count? I mean, hey, where's the I honestly leave. don't know. I mean, we did get a Representative Clark Tucker had a bill in the House. Um, modest in scope, I think, just for public employees two years ago that got out of the House and down to the Senate. So I think we've, we've shown that we can pass a, a paid leave bill. All right. Yeah. We'll see so if that it's happens. coming. 
All right, so I'll be the bad guy and pick a bad Trump topic. I think the president needs to be a little more careful with access to nuclear weapons and top intelligence. He's handling the North Korea nuke situation in the dining room at Mar-a-Lago, and he was photographed with a key in a classified lock bag during a photo op with uncleared personnel. I personally can handle the bluster and the tweets and certainly the reversal in policies from the previous administration, but nonchalance with classified intelligence and nuclear secrets. I'm just asking for a little improvement in that area, please. Uh, quick break, and we're back to preview an upcoming poll from Talk Business and Hendricks College. Stick around. Circuits turn on the lights by making a connection, by closing the loop. At Entergy, we believe our economy is circular too. What you put in comes back. So we invest billions in new infrastructure, which helps attract new industry, which helps create new jobs. We partner with local communities to electrify the economy. And together, we power life. Entergy. When was the last time you felt free? It's time to uncover that feeling again with the compassion of a cross and shield, accepted by over 90% of doctors and specialists, and the power of a card that opens doors in all 50 states, giving you the freedom to love, to dream, to dance, like no one is watching. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield, live fearless. Well, get ready. We're about to go in the field for our first poll survey of 2017. Talk business and politics and Hendricks College continue our teaming up for a look at some issues that are certainly making waves at the state legislature. Our next round of polling will test guns on college campuses, medical marijuana restrictions, separating the King and Lee holidays, and a few other issues and politicians' standings. Hopefully, we'll have some early results for you on that by Sunday's Talk Business and politics program. That's all for today's daily show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.